Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the first deck profile of the week. This is for the uh, Team Ogre uh, New Knights, New Malgus Knights list. Uh, it is four color because of some splashing, um, but primarily it's red uh, with a, a little bit of it, all the other colors except for black. Um, but the sideboard can bring in black. So let's just go ahead and dig right in. So obviously Memoria of the Seven Lands is our ruler. Uh, doesn't really do anything, but for Judgment for Four, you flip over into New Melgus. So uh, Melgus, the Conqueror of Flame. So if you have, um, he gets Melgus as his name, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then when you uh, control the Conqueror's Memoria, you reveal the top three cards of your deck. Every creature that's level cost three or less goes into play with swiftness. But if you control four uh, Rule Conqueror's Memoria, then um, all of them, all of the creatures get to come into play. Otherwise, the other ones go back on top of the deck. You're really never going to be tapping enough to get all four unless you get four off the top, um, which is pretty uncommon. But even just with the one, it's a real big, real big hit. So moving into the stone lineup, obviously four Brutal Conquerors Memoria gives us the best chance of being able to trigger Melgus as possible uh, and generate red. Uh, four Rulers Memoria so that we can use our splashed other colors. And then just two basic fire stones to round out the stone count. Moving into the Resonators, it is a very Resonator heavy list because we want to be hitting Resonators all the time with Melgus. We have three Rook Egg, so this is your main search engine, uh, and some fodder for Guinevere, as well as some early game blocking. Uh, four Guinevere for draw power. This is pretty standard as well in a red list. This card is really, really good for helping you get the cards that you need to see. Uh, splashing in three Harrows just for some addition hate, as well as to be able to put some more creatures on board. And then the Knights package is for Lancelot, I mean, there's nothing much really to say about Lancelot. He is kind of the bread and butter of Knight's decks. Uh, we actually play two Hectors um, to be able to help pump up Lancelot and make him stronger and be able to use his burn effect more frequently. Uh, three of the new guy, Ywain, Knight of the Lion. Um, so he has, as long as you control the beast, he gets target attack and swiftness, and he gets plus two, plus two for every other beast you control. Uh, and when he attacks, he deals 200 damage to every resonator, so, except for himself. So that's pretty cool. Or no, he even deals it to himself. So he deals 200 damage to himself, but nuking the board for two is really strong, especially if you play him off of a Flame King Shout, because then you technically get to burn your opponent's board for six, while also swinging in for 600 damage. And then to round out the knights, we play two boars, the returned adventurer. This guy's another way that we pump up Lancelot, and you can pump up Lancelot when he comes in, as well as pump up himself later on when he's making swings. Because he gets plus four, plus four when he comes in, and uh, whenever he attacks. Then we have three keeper, uh, Uther keeper of the past, and three Prissia pursuant of exploding flame, just to round out the aggression, uh, and for more of the reach near the end of the game. Moving into the spells, we only run three of them, and it is three Flame King Shouts, just to be able to bring in Uther's stronger, or being able to bring in Wayne's with some power. And then Regalia, we run four Levitine. Uh, this is pretty obvious as to why we run that, to be able to get the swiftness and will generation. Two Merry Bells, to be able to protect Melgus, because his defense is a little bit low. Two Horn of the Sacred Beast to be able to deal with some kind of some of the mashups as well as recycle your own deck if you need to. And then two Death Sites so that we can make sure that J Rulers are dying. We don't really run black in the main uh, consistently enough to be able to run Black Moonbeam, so we use Death Scythe to help answer that question. So anyway, there you go. Uh, that is the deck. Thank you to Team Ogre for helping me uh, find this list, put it together, and uh, use it. Um, go ahead and check out the other deck profile for today. Link down below, as well as link to the feature match. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73, signing off.